What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I got a story out of Warren, Michigan. And uh, this story took place on April 15th. And uh, you just got to see this to believe it. You see this guy up here? This guy right here is 22-year-old Elijah Lawrence. And he's presently locked up for doing unspeakable. In addition to him being locked up, there's a number out here where they want people to call the Warren police in case they've seen this man or come in contact with him in a similar crime I'm about to explain to you today. This man, 22-year-old Elijah Lawrence, ladies and gentlemen, is arrested for following children into public restrooms, namely the Home Depot out there in Warren, Michigan, and inappropriately touching them. Here's his video, and uh, I'll come back and read a couple of things to you as to how stupid this guy looked when he was trying to escape. Take a look. An update tonight on a disturbing bathroom assault at a popular store. The suspect was arrested after police say he inappropriately touched an 11 year old. This happening at the Home Depot in Warren on 11 Mile and Hoover Roads. Tonight, the little girl and her mother are talking to us in hopes that if there are other victims out there, that they'll come forward. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Ruta Olsenaida with what led up to the assault. This story all around is just disturbing. That little girl and her family were at this Home Depot in Warren last Sunday, getting things for a memorial for a family member of theirs. But all they left that store with is trauma. For you to try to take the innocence of my child, let alone anybody else's child, I hope you rot in prison and never see the light of day. It has been a tough few days, tough few weeks for Janet Kelly and her 11 year old daughter. Back on April 5th, Janet's brother John passed away after complications from a stroke. Janet went to this Home Depot in Warren on Hoover just days after he passed, wanting something to remember John by. We decided to go to Home Depot. We were going to get flowers to build like a memorial for John. Janet was there last Sunday afternoon with her three young daughters. And in the middle of shopping, her two eldest, both 11 and younger, buddied up to use the restroom. And, and you were right outside. I was right outside the door, like literally. What the girls and Janet didn't know is that a man was inside the women's restroom waiting for someone to come in. I went to the door to ch check on him and she came out and she was crying. And I didn't understand what had happened. And she said that there was a man inside one of the stalls, the handicapped stall, and he had came out and he had touched her inappropriately on her behind. The 11 year old little girl says the man did not say a word, but did something disturbing after the assault. And when he exited out, he looked at me and smiled at me. The man ran out of the store, hopped a wall and got away. But the Warren Police Department found him and took him into custody the very next day. 22 year old Elijah Lawrence has been charged with multiple felonies. Typically, we do not show mug shots, but are in this case because police say he is a suspect in other peeping Tom incidents in East Point, and there could be other children out there that he has inappropriately touched. And the nightmare for Janet and her daughter continues to this day, quite literally. But I'm still having like nightmares of him because I don't like it. But they are speaking out so others have the courage to speak up if this man has assaulted them. Your voice needs to be heard. Now, as for that suspect, he was arraigned Wednesday facing a $250,000 bond. He'll be back in court next month. In Warren, I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 Action News. Guys, that's the story of one uh, Elijah Lawrence. And uh, this guy needs to be shown the flowers immediately. I'm going to read you something off of the news, local news out there. And it says this. It says, according to Warren Police News release, employees called police and followed the male suspect around the store. When he realized he was being followed, the suspect fled the store, of course. He was later observed running into a nearby neighborhood after jumping over the wall, boundary wall at Home Depot, as well as breaking in the car and stealing a bicycle before fleeing the Home Depot. 
This guy was just walking around the store seeing who he could prey on. These little girls went in the uh, bathroom. Now, according to the uh, report or whatever uh, news article you read, because I've read several, some reports say he was already in the bathroom, just hiding out in the handicap stall. Some news releases say he followed them in there. Either way, it don't matter. This guy was totally out of line. 22 years old, considered a young kid to me, a young, a young person. Where's this sense of uh, uh, just knowing better? You know what I'm saying? 22 years old. When I was 22 years old, I was in the service. Fully accountable for myself. And I had full accountability, you know, for my ways and actions. And I had blueprint on the way a man acts and goes about in this every day. Seem like people nowadays, young like this, not all, can't do that. This guy know he not supposed to be in the female bathroom. Look at him. He look goofy. He looks goofy. Something wrong with him. Police went to his house, said less than 24 hours. Lawrence was identified and tracked down at his home where he was arrested without incident. Didn't resist. The way he did the crime, and it says during the execution of a search warrant, deputies found evidence that would be cru that was crucial to the investigation. I guess the clothes he had on or, or whatever. Said he was arraigned in court the next day. Lawrence was given a $250,000 cash surety bond with a GPS teller required if bond is posted. He'll be back in court May 7th. He should not be out. No human being in their right mind would give anybody freedom after what they did to that young girl. What she's seen, she can't unsee. Her sense of security is messed up in a public bathroom in a place as big as Home Depot. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Her and her sister did the buddy system going in the bathroom. And it's lucky they did that. And I'm really thinking about that. If you guys got kids, you know, because like I ran into this issue. I got a little girl and she has to go to the bathroom. I don't want to take her in the men's bathroom. So it's a dilemma that a lot of guys go through. So if some of you parents out there have daughters and they run into that type of situation and you guys have daughters, give us some advice. My daughter's nine. She's tall. I still fear for her because if this girl had one in there by herself and shout out to the mom for having them do this. You don't know what could have happened. You don't. You don't. It could have been really bad. Said he was in the handicap store when he came in there. Which I believe he was. I believe he was in there already. And he just bust up out of there. See, because a lot of times guys in public restrooms are funny about where they do their business. They don't like doing their business around other men. Y'all, Some of you guys know that. And what I'm talking about, I'm talking about doing number two. So... They'll run up in the, in the woman's bathroom because women hardly use those type of bathrooms and they're cleaner. People think they're cleaner than men's bathrooms. So it was a reason he was in there. But for him to bust up out of there and touch two kids, he don't know. You know what I'm saying? Out of control. Out of control. Then he walked around the store. They followed him. He got when they was on his tail. He runs out the store and jumps over a neighbor, uh, the back wall, a Home Depot, into a neighborhood. Trying to get out of it. So he walked. I think he left his car here. Because I think he drove there. That's might have been how they tracked him down too. Because it said less than 24 hours later. I don't know what time this happened. But uh, I think the car was a big motivating factor how he was caught. They probably watched surveillance scene. He got out of the car and then he ran away. That's why he broke the car and stole a bike to get away. Because I don't see nobody walking to a Home Depot to do something that, where they know they might have to run out of there and get away. On foot. But then again, people are getting stupider and stupider every day. This guy need to be shown the flowers. He don't need no bail. He need a body bag. And that's just my opinion. I hope this young lady uh, can recover mentally from this. And she learns. You know what I'm saying? Be careful. And a lot of you out there, be careful. This situation could have been anybody with a daughter. Think about it. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason Channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember the live stream story time with Stop Marker Steve is going to be tonight. And following that, I got the arrest affidavit.
here for the uh, Kinsley Wellsey case. And we'll be going over it tonight at a, a live stream at nine o'clock. And uh, you might not want to miss that. A lot of you people in the true crime and stuff. But this story right here is something they might write, write, write about later on. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.